Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create mosaics using sea glass. And today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of telling a good story with your art piece. So it's really important to tell a story with your art piece. Even if it's something that somebody else doesn't know all the background to, it, in order for a piece of art to be important to you and for you to put some of yourself into it, it has to tell a story. So if you look at this heron back here, you might look at it and say, oh, it's a nice heron standing beside the water looking out. But for me, it's a lot more than that because I've got a long relationship with herons and they mean a lot to me and they're very symbolic but very beautiful just in their physical appearance that they have as they are. So for me, there's a very long story behind that art piece. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about how important that is. And I wanted to talk to you about this piece. This is a piece that I just finished. I call this one Grandma Susie's Rocker. And it's a picture of a rocking chair beside a fireplace. So this rocking chair has a lot of history behind it. It was a rocking chair that belongs to me now, but it originally belonged to my mother's mother's mother. So my great-grandmother. And when you look at the history of an object, and in this case a rocking chair, you can learn a lot of history about a whole family and a way of life and the way something was taken care of and the way it was used in, in their home and the whole bit. So there's a lot of history and a, quite a long story behind that rocking chair. So I wanted to depict it in one of my pieces of art. And it sits beside a fireplace, and this is the, a depiction of the fireplace in my mother and father's cottage, where that rocking chair sat for a number of years. So this piece means quite a bit to me, and I have quite a long history behind it. So this is the picture of the rocking chair that I used for my design. And here's a picture of the fireplace. So to create the rocking chair, I used a lot of very small pieces of brown. And it was kind of fiddly, and I wasn't sure if it was really going to work, but I think it does a pretty good job de depicting the picture of the rocking chair. So I was kind of happy with it in the end. And to do the, rock, the fireplace, I used all sorts of rocks that came from our beach, because the actual fireplace in my mother and father's cottage is made of rocks from our beach. So I used rocks from our beach. And you'll see the logs of the fire. These are really interesting. The, those logs are actually petrified wood, which we get quite a bit of at our beach. And it's wood that's been fossilized and it has a really crystally shimmery effect to it because it's actually turned into rock. So um, I found some great pieces to use for the fire. And I used some aqua pieces to create some light coming up from the fire. I used brown in the hearth. And I used white for the window and little brown pieces for the dividers of the window panes. And over here on the wall, I put in a nukshuk. And I put in a nukshuk in each one of my pieces. It's my signature. And um, in this case, I thought it would be interesting because it's an indoor scene to put a picture on the wall with an anukshuk in it. And one other detail I added, I used this really unique stone to make a stool. And um, it's kind of like a rectangular type stone. So I think it makes kind of a neat stool. And I also used two pieces of petrified wood for the legs of the stool. And then I have white for the floor and green for the walls. And there you have it. It's my Grandma Susie's rocker. So that's my Grandma Susie's rocker. So it's important for you to tell a story with your piece of art. And what I would suggest you do is to do some thinking about it and planning before you start your piece. Maybe before you draw your pattern, before you gather up the sea glass that you want to use. Think about what is the story that I want to tell with my art piece. One of the things that I find has become quite helpful for me is I actually sit down and I write a story. So I've written quite a long story about this piece, about the rocking chair and about the history of my grandmother Susie's life. 
and um, it's been really helpful to me. So then I put all of those thoughts into my piece and even if other people can't see that, I can see it when I look at the piece. And um, that's really important for when you do art. So thanks for joining me today. I hope this has been really inspiring to you and I hope it's given you some ideas with where to take your own sea glass mosaic art. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and be sure to check out my other videos. And if you want to see some more of my art, you can go to my website at JackieTrimperSeaGlass.com. Mm -hmm.